Well, the bleeding has stopped momentarily anyway, as we welcome you here on Sportsnet.ca with Chris Johnston. I'm Arash Madani. Just an optional skate Wednesday, six guys on the ice. And it was Tyler Bozak afterwards who said, this entire streak, all these games, all these practices, it all sucked. Chris, it seemed like that was a team that was just caught in quicksand and didn't know how to get out of it. And we're not sure yet if they're out of it. That's the, the big thing huh. I think that they're all kind of aware of, Tyler Bozak included, that you know that the win on Tuesday night against the Calgary Flames was far from emphatic, right. you know, far from a, a statement-making type of thing that you'd want. I sense that it's just the biggest uh, benefit of it, really, is that they can no longer have to really talk about the streak. Sure. They, they don't have to focus on the eight straight losses. It could have been nine, I guess, that they lost that game. Not the elephant in the room anymore. Exactly. Now it's sort of like, all right, let's see if we can pull this off. You know, we're, we're out of that. Let's see, you know, now we've got this. It's five games left in the regular season, not much time, pretty big odds against them to make the playoffs. Now let's see if we can do it. Well, Randy Carlisle was honest, and it was a very reflective Carlisle, and it was somebody who really said a couple of interesting things. Chris, what I thought was intriguing most of all is when he said we weren't as good as our record was early in the season when they were atop the East. And he said we almost didn't know how to get out of it and how difficult it was for him. What was your takeaway from what the coach had to say? I've never heard him say he felt helpless. Yeah. And that's what he said as well, talking about trying to coach the team out of this, change things behind the scenes, different types of meetings, different video, just anything to shake things up. I mean, He said they tried everything. The real interesting part of the streak, I think, is that they weren't blown out in any of those games. I mean, the, the loss to St. Louis was a clear loss, but everything else – in the third period, those games were there for the taking. So the Leafs left a lot of points on the table by dropping eight in a row in regulation. I mean, it's mind-boggling they got to that point. I think Randy Carlisle knows there's no time for BS now. I mean, he's yeah. heard his own job uh, discussed publicly, debated whether he should keep it. He knows that if they miss the playoffs, the odds go down. I would say that he's back here next season. And now it's just like all the cards are on the table. Again, let's see what they got. So let's just say hypothetically that this Leafs team – got one overtime win or perhaps just got into an extra session happened to get a few points along the way here still had their struggles no question but just managed to get into overtime and collect a couple of points and be in the playoff discussion what are they really well you know they're, they're a playoff team if they did that I mean certainly when we were in Los Angeles On three paper, weeks ago yeah. you know the reason I thought they were going to make the playoffs when we were there that night, because that was a big victory for them, is because they had a nine-point cushion. And I figured even if they struggled down the stretch, no team goes eight or nine or ten in a row without getting a point. Well, Not a playoff team anyway. But they, they still have a chance here. And when I look at this, and if you're looking for any optimism out there about the Leafs, and I know the odds are long, you look at the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Washington Capitals. Those are essentially the two teams right now they're, they're battling for that last spot. Those teams don't fill me with any more confidence than the Toronto Maple Leafs do right now. And, and I do think that where we are is just a steep fall off in the Eastern Conference from yeah. the Boston Bruins, who will be here on Thursday. You know, they're the class, and then it goes sharply downhill. And, and they're right where in the mucky middle is where the Leafs are and the Jackets and the Caps. And it's sort of whichever one of those teams can play the best over a week and a half, two weeks, they're going to get that last spot. The news out of Wednesday's practice came from an award standpoint. It's Paul Ranger who's been nominated from the Maple Leafs for the Masterton Trophy. It's been a remarkable comeback for a man who spent three years away from the game. For Chris Johnston, I'm Arash Madani here at the Leaf Practice Facility on Sportsnet.ca.